Hey guys, um, so I wanted to show you the um, eye gauging Bluetooth digital calipers that I got. Um, they came with calibration certificate and um, these instructions that are, you know, what I would expect from a product from China. But these are really high quality digital calipers from China. Um, I've had a pair of eye gauging calipers before and they were very good. You can see how fast the read rate is. It's pretty good and zero. It holds at zero pretty well. So you can take it to zero, hold it, resets to zero. And it also is auto on, so after five minutes it'll turn off. And then as soon as you want it to work, it'll just, you just move it and it turns on. Um, which I hear is a power draw. So I wanted to show you kind of my use for it. My use for it is probably, um, for some reason I can't get it to work with my computer's Bluetooth. I don't know why. So I have my, my uh, Pixel uh, Android phone and I have Bluetooth turned on. Okay, and in order to get Bluetooth the pair, you have to hold down the data button until that little flashing Wi-Fi or Bluetooth icon, wireless icon at the top is flashing. And once it's flashing, then you take this and you press pair, connecting, and then it says connected here. And then from that, I'm going to go in Evernote to kind of show you how I did it. Um, okay, so let's say I measure something like let's measure uh, the width of my phone. So uh, roughly 6.943. And then when I push the button, it's going to start downloading all the all the uh, measurements since it last connected to Bluetooth. So it can store up to 99 values in between being connected to Bluetooth. Um, I'm not really sure how well that's actually going to work for what I'm trying to do. I'm really hoping I can get my computer to connect connect to it, but for some reason that's not working. So, but it is pretty cool to have. Uh, real-time uh, data feedback over wireless so let's say like this 5.061 press the button and then it reads out 5.061 it's kind of a neat little gadget um, I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to use it um, it's kind of cool on my phone but unfortunately my phone unless I have a you know a spreadsheet that is tied to my my CAD program it's not going to be useful, so I'm going to try it on my laptop. Maybe it's a maybe it's my specific Bluetooth module that's not working with this device. It should just show up as a generic Bluetooth keyboard, which it does, um, but I'm not sure why that doesn't work. Other than that, this is a really great caliper. Um, I would recommend going with eye gauging. Probably not the Bluetooth, depending on your needs. I thought it was pretty cool, and it wasn't that much more expensive. Um, it's still cheaper than the Mitotoyo and it's pretty high quality. The other cool thing about this is it's, it says Coolant Cal and it's basically a, a IP, IP67 so it's supposed to be water resistant or waterproof. Um, but yeah that's about it. It's a neat little caliper. Um, uh, I would like to do more testing with the Bluetooth like I said and um, but um, standalone it's a good caliper. Um, I would imagine once I get Bluetooth set up, I could do uh, parametric modeling a lot quicker if I have all my specs already lined up and, uh, you know, all my dimensions lined up in Fusion. And then all I have to do is push the button and it'll automatically populate each one. That would be kind of cool. Um, like I said, it's, it's a really niche uh, feature, but it would be pretty cool than having to type it in manually with your, you know, keypad, which I don't really have a problem with, but 
you never know. Uh, so, uh, there's not much to it. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of my new little toy, and uh, it is 3D printing related, since, um, you know, a lot of 3D printing is CAD work. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you.